doesn't like. Welcome back, welcome back again. We did another jam, we another with the market breakdown. But we're for it. Now listen. So as y'all see, bro, the market literally break. The market literally break my dead resistance. And now right here is on the weekly resistance, right? It's on the weekly resistance, and then we have the monthly resistance up there, right? I'm on the moon. I'm on the, I'm on the monthly time frame for a fair. Oh my God. As you'll see, so CPI came negative for the United States dollar in two days, in, in two weeks or so, right? And then we have five days for this monthly. We have five days and four hours for this monthly kind of stays close. So we're going to predict that the US dollar again will still be negative for the entire month. And silver and gold will basically be buying, right? That's us for the fundamental sense, right? So right here, let's go back here to investing.com. Let's see what we have. Investing.com. Perfect, perfect. Now, right ago, as the. As the uh, investing.com charts load. Let's see this thing right here. Hold on for a second. See, look, the big king of the form, big bearish. This kind of closes a big, big, it kind of engulfed. <laughs> I don't want that. Sorry. Oh my god. Let's go to economic calendar. Oh my god, look! We got 24 and 50! For a fact, listen! <clears throat> oh, this is actually packed. I'm gonna go right ahead and switch. Let's see what we have. Let's see this what we have. Building permits, new house sales. Pretty much in one effect. Consumer confidence. Uh, pretty much in one effect. Oh my god, we have Sleepy Apple the Euro! Damn, we gonna, we gonna kill it. <clears throat> and then we have GDP for America, quarter on quarter, manufacturing, China, and then core. Oh, again, this is CPI or something? Uh -huh. It is a jobless plan. Betting home sales for the US, so pretty much this is what we have. And pretty much, I want to see the one that are values, the ones that we have have utility. Right, as for the holidays, the holidays is over. The holidays is over. The holiday that we had, we had. It's only, it's past. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my God, no holiday, but <clears throat> Philippines. I don't want Philippines, bro. I don't want America. No, I don't want you, Philippines. Let's go to United Kingdom. Let's see. Let's see we have all the United Kingdom. It's only got Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Only 20, 20, December 22nd and 25th. Only that with the market is closing. So I pretty much on the 20th is when. Pretty much on the 20th is when I probably be stop trading the UK market. Let's go right ahead to United States. United States 24 Thanksgiving is closes and December 25th. That's the only thing we have, right? And let's go to Europe or oh, Germany. So, right now, <coughs> I was listening to this guy, <coughs> Anthony Anton Trail, and it's pretty much saying that trade, trade anything for the past two years, bro. Trade anything, you guys know what the market is telling you, learn everything that has a candle anything like trade anything for the past two years with the proper trading uh trading education yeah i'm going to germany no trading germany no trading let's see uh, okay let's see japan perfect japan no holidays Japan doesn't have holiday though, right? So Japan is good. We believe it's good. Right now, let's go back in here. Look, this on the daily time frame. The market closed with a big, big old bullish pressure, meaning there was demand. It was high demand in the market. And the guys were buying a lot of silver. As as we go to the to the gold chart, it, I believe it's still gonna be the same on the daily time frame. Okay, so 
So right ahead, let's go right here. Let's go right here to this is my goal. See what happened. And again, kind of like he does a book in my zone by the inside. Okay, let's go back to silver. I was wrong about that, but it's cool. Okay, so silver USD. Okay, so also let's go silver and GPP USD. Silver and GPP. Let's see. But we're like kind of like saying that's both my zone. But he, he has a big bearish, big bullish, big bullish demand. Right, big bullish demand. Let's see. Now, silver and silver and silver and currency. We're trying to look for currency. Uh, we're trying to look for uh, currencies that they have correlation. Right, as you see, he wants to break past my zone of resistance right there. Uh, okay, silver and pound. Let's go silver and pound. I think I've done silver and pound, silver and card. I've been done silver and card. Oh my god, again, I've been broke down this market. Okay, but right ahead, let me break down this market real quick for you guys. So you're gonna see. But right ahead, I'm gonna break this down market in a while. But look, we thirty-one dollars profit. Why? Because this volatility is going Let me go back to volatility is going back, or let me break this down for a bit. I do a simple breakdown. A simple breakdown. I'll be trading anything for you. So I'm looking where the market literally had multiple touches. Signify where the money is at. Right, where the money is at. It, it, if we have multiple touch, bro, that's where the money is. For a fact, for a fact, I'ma clone it. Signify where it have multiple, multiple touches. Multiple touch, we have money right there. That's all. We have money at that level. Multiple touches. That's what I'm doing right here. That's what I'm doing. Silver and CAD. Multiple churches. Perfect. I'm going to identify where the money is at. I'm going to identify where the money is at. So look, clear night of state. I have my levels right there marked. And I'm going to right ahead and go. I'm going to change this color. I'm going to change it to green. Perfect. These are my monthly time frame. As a matter of fact, this one I'm gonna change it to perfect. Perfect. Yeah, look, we are still trading on the monthly resistance. Why are we trading under monthly resistance? As we go to the weekly time frame, we still we trading under monthly resistance for effect look but the market wants to break these zone and if we break these zone in my retest and then we're gonna go to an uptrend for effect right let's look at the daily we see how the daily closes still the daily wants to push up push up let's go right ahead and identify a weekly support a weekly support <coughs> clone it Hold on for a second, hold on for a second, hold on for a second, I'm coming right now. I'm back again. 
So I'll be changing this color and I'm a pretty much I'm a tiny to red to signify weekly. I'm gonna write right here, man, on top. Mm -hmm. Right on top, weekly resistance. Or weekly supply. That would be good. Weekly supply. And I'm gonna make it a little bit small, like 10. Perfect, that's good. Middle center is all good. Perfect. So this way we have the money on the weekly time For effect, I was about to find I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it to be in the middle on top left. I mean the right. Perfect. Let's see. Weekly. Perfect. Let's go to the daily. We see what's what's up. Perfect. So pretty much the market use my weekly supply, right? And then right now the supply go the weekly look the market literally broke this right broke this and then right here we have the supply on the monthly right here is the supply for the monthly right and then now we be selling we be selling silver we be selling silver and cad I'm gonna put my writing up here on top on top of it I'm writing selling for a while sell silver sell silver Sell silver, right? Pretty much it. Sell silver. The market literally broke this for the weekly, broke the weekly supply, and then potentially we might hit retest, right? For retest, and then the market is going to shoot up for a while, right? So, pretty much it. That's what we have in structure in the euro in XG CAD. Okay, so right now, what I want to do is, but you see that, that is the daily supply and resistance. That's my five. I'm gonna write that down. Let me write daily. Just this. daily R resi and. And so perfect. Hmm? Y'all are we trading on the daily, we trading on the a cool um a cool support level for the whole of the last week and silver was buying can it's the US dollar but we pretty much here we have like a, a short storm supply right here in this zone. So I'm a tiny right there and I'm gonna put it right there. So it's gonna be my resistance world. My resi, weekly resi, weekly resi of oh, sub. So sub means supply and I'm gonna use 10. That's where the money is at. Yeah, I'm gonna let that be in the middle. I'm gonna use candle and you'll see. Look, the market actually has broken past that level, guys. The market has broken down so potentially we might have to reach this before we go up. Potential retest, and then we we should not we should not for effect, y'all. Like for real, for real. Like we're gonna go up this level right here, bro. And then calm down. It will be I'm down right there. As a matter of fact, let me let me let me try to be in my drone mode. Close this level for now. Let me be in my drone mode. Stay in drone mode, bro. Stay in drone mode for a while. Okay, perfect. Oh my god. We just uh, weekly. Then we should go to that zone. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I would wrap those. <laughs> I don't want too much in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Man, it's a loss, man. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's 
So I feel like this is what a monkey with my potential is. Do my potentially reach as high as this level right here, or as far as this level of 36, 4, 5, 8. So I'll do another market breakdown tomorrow again. I'm going to reach 10. I will listen to Fundamentals by Jessica Lane. As a matter of fact, let me go back there. We go to my history. Now, this is what I believe is going to happen with the market has literally broken my weekly resistance. See, my potential reaches this zone, and then we're gonna work for the week. All right, that's the silver. We are done with the silver. I'm gonna mark up all my drawings. But anyway, let's now get back to this um, volatility indices, right? Uh, as y'all see, but I want to see where the market, how how the market will close this level right here. Let me move there. As you'll see, we have a strong demand zone at that point. Okay. And we're currently trading. We're currently trading. I believe this one is a month to a month. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is where the prize is at right now. Okay, cool. Let me let me mark up my zone again. Okay, let me try it right here. Pretty much perfect. That's where my spot, so, so resistance level is going to be at. I love this song, y'all. Listen. I've done that. Okay, cool. Perfect. So my candles right here. Also, see we can see. Oh, see, like sellers, buyers be, be, be buyers be losing, be losing pressure at this moment right now. Buyers be, <coughs> buyers be losing. Like the price right here had to jump in. The price is be consolidating, and we're gonna go low with that all the way until this level right here, and then before we shoot up for a fact, for a fact, y'all. Right here, this level right here. So Ekanashi, pretty much, it's all about um, understanding the levels of where the market had multiple touches, multiple touches, multiple touches, y'all. Matter of fact, let me, let me, let me, let me put it there, and let me see. Okay, cool. Pretty much it. Let me use my line chart to see. Perfect. We might potentially go down to this level and then shoot up. But this was jump in bias. Hold on for a second. I'm coming back. Coming right back.
All right, guys, we are back again. We currently put it down. I was going to pick up my clothes from the onion. But anyway, that was the last. We got Siva and Kat. Look, it had a big, 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 big engulfing, big engulfing candle. And it reached, it reached to the weekly. Systems right there. I believe it is a monthly. Okay, so this level right here is the monthly. If I do what it is. Right here, bro. This level right here. Right here. Go back in touch as well. But anyway. Right here, pretty much in the daily, we have the man, huge demand right here, huge demand right here, bro. We have the demand, demand for sale right here on the zone. But I want to see nowhere. Okay, this is the weekly support. That's why I was like, okay, cool. This is the weekly sub. It has broken the weekly support on the daily, guys. Okay, so this is my weekly. Support pretty much. This is the weekly supply. I'm sorry that it is broken and carrying the price to be thirty-three dollars. And potentially we're gonna retrace and then go to the upside for a bet. Right? That's a weekly supply. Strong that little bro. Stronger that little. The weekly sap is all strong for a bet. Look, this weekly sap and then this weekly demand right here still. We have another demand right here. All right, we have another demand. For a fact. And you'll see me, where is it at the month? Okay, cool. Yeah, still believe for a fact. We have a supply. A supply right there. Okay, I've lost this. I'm wonder you can't move. Okay, but now you can't move. Like, I'm gonna find, let me. Drag it all the way. This point right there. I have five minutes. 
and I'll close this. All right? Perfect. See if I can. Oh, look at the rain. Heavy rain. Heavy rain, guys. Heavy rain, heavy rain, I don't know how you can see me, but... Oh, the radio. Heavy 